Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. All right, there are stars, there are superstars, and then there is Mark Rackley. He is my first guest this morning. He's been filming Deadly Predators for almost 30 years. He specializes in underwater videography. His work has been shown everywhere from Discovery Channel to History Channel to MTB. Now, his incredible shots and his ability to hold his breath for over for five minutes allows him to get up close and personal with his subjects. The zoom button doesn't exist to this guy. Enjoy this quick clip of some of his incredible work this morning. After the video, I'll be talking with the man himself. favorite thing about spear fishing would probably be just being out in the water, in the water. I mean, it's, there's something tranquil about it. I like the Keys because you can go diving pretty much like every day. It's surfing's just so nice out here <laughs> compared to like anywhere else. I like 100 foot viz and deep wrecks and big group. What do I like about spear fishing? It's the hunt, you know? It's the hunt. I was lined up on a black grouper in like 100 plus feet of water. Super clear, but I was a little bit off the ledge as I dropped down. So I swim off and around the side and then go down. And when I opened my eyes, the shark was right here. This guy's and this boat went out 120 miles west. I think I was born with spear fishing in my blood. All right, Mark, thank you so much for being on this morning. It is a pleasure having you here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you here. are one fearless man. <laughs> and I want to know how this all began. When did you get your very first camera? I got my first camera when I was like 18. My brother, uh, we were spear fishermen. Mm -hmm. I was a, born in Key West. And I got a camera, and um, he, we just started filming the spearfishing every day. Mm -hmm. And the sharks were coming in, this and that. We would go home and watch the, vi the footage on, you know, at home, and it, it was just like, this is the coolest thing I've ever done, you know. So mm -hmm. I've been doing it ever since. So the passion just took off right from there. Yeah. And you do everything, Mark. You do sharks. You do gators. What's your? What would you say is? your scariest subject that you shoot? The scariest you, subject? <laughs> <laughs> you probably don't think any of no, them are scary, do you? They could get scary. I mean, like a 500-pound Mako, like, coming at you, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not scared. It's more, like, on guard, you know, and being, like, totally, like, tuned in because they, they come in really fast, you know? Mm -hmm. How do you mentally prepare for when you go underwater and you shoot these subjects? I mentally prepare. I mean, like... I just chill, you know, I don't like trying to like over, overthink it and mm -hmm. each job is like, you just like, l I look at it like, all right, you know, step by step by step and mm -hmm. if you think about the whole big picture, you know, it could mess you up but you just, you know, you go at it like that. Yeah, you really can't think too much beforehand or else mm -hmm. you might freak yourself out. What does your family think about you doing this line of work, Mark? I don't know, I mean, it, <laughs> <laughs> it's like... They like it, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it, I've been doing it for so long. It's mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't fear for your life when you do s go on some of these shoots? I don't think so. I don't think it's like, you know, <laughs> I go what and you I come do. back, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, Mark, your work has been shown everywhere, uh, specifically Shark Week on the Discovery Channel. Mm -hmm. How did that all get started? 
Um, it got started like just from gathering footage year, you know, over the years. And I worked with a guy, Manny Puig. I worked with him. We did a lot of uh, shark encounters together. And um, I started selling footage to Discovery and just accumulated a lot of uh, like knowledge and like footage of behavior of sharks. And then they, they kind of showcased it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we're going to take a quick break right now, but when we come back this morning, we're going to show some of this footage. And when I watched it, I think I had a heart attack for you, okay? <laughs> you got so mm -hmm. up in their faces. It was awesome. All right, stay with us, everyone. There is much more to come this morning with Mark Rackley. I can tell that you didn't use the zoom button in so many of those shots because those sharks are right up to your camera. You don't get that with yeah. the zoom button. No, no, <laughs> because it's a fluid thing. The sharks like are, are coming at you, you mm -hmm. know, at high rates of speed and stuff, and it's just kind of Im it's impossible to use it, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you like it. You get a thrill out of them just yeah. coming up to you, don't you? <laughs> I do. I, I like the thrill. I like the image that it gives you. You know, mm -hmm. it puts you right there up close and personal with them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you go home and you look at the footage, you study the footage, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you learn behavior. Yeah, learn behavior. Well, what about the sharks that we just saw, Mark? Tell us about those. Those were local sharks I filmed here. Um, I usually go out filming with any of the guys that are around. You know, we all go out. Mm -hmm. We ch we um, jump in and, you know, 
we film the sharks, you know, we get you stock footage and stuff. Yeah, you know, I mean, we like being around them, and, and uh, there's no, like, fear in our group of, of sharks, you know. <laughs> That's <We're> crazy. Like <laughs> I couldn't be in your group then because I have no, you too could, much you could. fear. <laughs> no. We could fix that. <laughs> <laughs> have you been bitten by a shark before, Mark? <clears throat> I've been uh, bit up to here by a Caribbean reef shark, but luckily I had a mesh sleeve on. Mm -hmm. But the host, it was uh, Les Stroud from Su Survivor Man, he put the bait on my arm. And the sharks are just precision, you know, hunters. And they, he just put the bait right there and the shark grabbed my arm, pulled it off and, and sucked it down his, his mouth. Was he trying to kill you by putting the bait he on did it by arm. accident, you know. We oh. went back and looked at the footage and it was just like, dude, you put that on my arm, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So when you say your arm then was yeah, in it was up the, ear, and, the mouth. And he was just... And what were you thinking? Well, I had that sleeve on like that, and the, and it was like, well, I'm so glad I had the <laughs> sleeve on, you know. And Sally gave me that sleeve, yeah. So you normally don't wear a sleeve? I norm No, I don't usually, I never wore mesh, you know, like that. And mm -hmm. when he got off, he, he bled me right here because I had a glove, and he mm -hmm. just was, you know, and I got my hand out of his mouth. Yeah, so that sleeve was your saving grace. <laughs> yeah. That's the only <laughs> shark bite. I had a Mako grab me, grab the front of the camera, about a 400-pound Mako, and I was free diving. I was about 20 feet under the water, and he just locked on me, and he was just like suspended in in midair, and I was like looking right at his eyeball and his teeth, and he just oh let me goodness. go. He let you go. Yeah, that's crazy. So, would you say that those two times were your most terrifying moments ever filming, or do you have another terrifying moment? I, the terrifying it doesn't happen like it's not mm -hmm. terrifying it's it's more like excitement and like you know thank god it happened you know mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. do you get satisfied mark from your shots or do you always want something more dangerous more thrilling well now it's more like um using different cameras and stuff and mm -hmm. you know we're using you know the cannons and it's like a harder a harder game mm -hmm. out there to mm -hmm. play because we're doing soft focuses and stuff and mm -hmm. More like having fun with it now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How many cameras have you lost from doing filming? Oh, well, I did four seasons on Wild Boys, and uh, I don't know, I must have went through like eight or so on that. Wow. Between the, this and that. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you, you always are having to happens, get new yeah. ones. <laughs> and <laughs> we're going to talk about that. You did a lot of work on MTV mm -hmm. with Jackass the show, yep. Jackass the movie, mm -hmm. Wild Boys. Yep, so all the boys, yep. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're going to take a quick break. When we get back from these messages, we'll talk about Wild Boys, Jackass, all of that, along with Gator Week. Stay with us. There's much more to come.